So you wish there was an easy way to make a flexible drop down menu. Not a problem. Right click the canvas, UI, and pick drop down text mesh pro. And a drop menu will appear. If you open it up, it seems like a lot, but it's actually real simple. The position scale and background image are just like every other UI tool. And it actually functions just like a button. So the colors for selected and highlighted are all picked here. Really the only thing you need to know is how many options you want to give the player. And what you want him to say. It starts you off with three called A, B, and C, but if you click the plus sign and add more like D, E, and F, when you run the game and click the drop down, the list will automatically expand to accommodate your new options. Now the cool thing is Unity does all the grunt work for you. So if you add a shitload of options and then play the game, you will see that Unity has automatically added a scroll bar so that you can navigate through your big list. And the size of the navigation can be adjusted by changing the size of the template. So if you click here, shrink it, and play the game, it will adjust the scroll bar to accommodate that new size. So how do you code it? Well for starters, you put in the traditional user in Unity Engine.UI, and let's just say that we wanted this drop down to allow the player to change the background color of the panel image. So let's make an image variable and drag it in. And out here, let's just change the name of the options to red, green, and blue. Now, each of these options actually has a number ID, and it starts at zero. So the real name of these options is zero, one, and two. So to program that in, just make a public void, and I'm just gonna call it color selector. And in here, we're just gonna add the logic for if index equals zero, change panel color to red, else if index equals one, change the color to green, else if index equals two, change the color to blue. And if we save and go to our drop down, you'll see the trigger slots here, so let's just add one, drag the object with the script inside, and set the trigger to the method that controls the color. You're done. If you save and run the game now, you will see that each time we pick a different option, the background image color changes. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.